Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in corn purple kernels are um, dominant to yellow, a random sample of 100 kernels is taken from the population in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. It is found that 9 kernels are yellow and 91 kernels are purple. What is the frequency of the yellow allele in this population? In order to solve this problem, everything we have to know just Hardy-Weinberg formula, where frequency of three genotypes are predicted. And three genotypes we can get uh, when we have two alleles for certain locus. For example, it can be P for purple and allele Y for yellow, for yellow color. And uh, if we have in a population just these two alleles, these two alleles can produce following uh, genotypes. Uh, P, P, one genotype, another one would be P and Y, and the third one would be Y, Y. So these two alleles in deployed organism can get three uh, combinations. And here is a uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula where frequency of the three genotypes would equal to P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. And all this would equal to 1 or we also can say 100%. So these three genotypes would make 100 uh, variants. But frequency of each genotype would be different. For example, if frequency of this allele uh, would be higher than this allele, then frequency of this genotype also would be higher than frequency of this genotype. So uh, now let's return to our problem. Uh, we know that um, it is found that nine kernels are yellow and 91 are purple. So as you see, uh, problem is simplified because we have 100 kernels and uh, it is easy to calculate. So uh, purple uh, uh, phenotype would be this to genotypes. And for example for uh, P squared we have here genotype P, P. And for 2PQ we have genotype P and Y. So basically uh, in our formula P equals to P and Q equals to Y. So now uh, Q squared would uh, stand for the Y, Y genotype. So basically we have, uh, I would use different color, so yellow. So basically we have here three genotypes but only two phenotypes. Because uh, this genotype or this genotype is the same phenotype as P, P. So we have yellow and purple. And we told that frequency of the yellow genotype is 9% and frequency of the purple phenotype is um, 91%. So uh, together uh, this make 100%. So as you see, 1 equals to 100%. So uh, basically in order to find frequency of the uh, recessive allele, so what we are looking here, what is the frequency of the yellow allele? Frequency of the yellow allele, we just have to take a square root uh, of this number. So if we have uh, Q 
squared that is stand for the frequency of the genotype y y in order to find y we just have to take a square root of this number and we are going to get q or q equals to y so uh, we are going to get q here or this is the same as allele y and now let's use numbers so 9% would be 0 0.09 and we have to take a square root of this number and we are going to get 0 0.3 and this would equal to frequency of the y allele and we also can find the frequency of the p allele if frequency of the y allele is 0 0.3 then frequency of the p allele would be 0 0.7 because uh, these two alleles would give us uh, 1 or 100 percent so as you see the correct answer would be answer a and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write a comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye